official Tabs DLC. Landfall Studios is proud to announce the Bug DLC for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. This DLC is available right now and all profits go to the charity Doctors Without Borders. There are some crazy things within this DLC, including officially sanctioned God powers. I'm not even kidding. You don't want to miss this video. Let's get to work. I can't wait to show you all the new stuff you can do in this update. It is insane. And I can't believe the developers have given us all these amazing new tools. Let's have some fun with our units. But first, we have to show you how to access the debug menu, the bug menu to give you all these awesome settings. First thing you have to do is hit the escape key, then go to your settings and move all the way to the right hand side where it says DLC bugs. And this gives you a menu of about 11 or 12 options, including debug tools, which I'm gonna show you right now. So we'll go over, turn debug tools on, and I'm gonna show you the official God powers. This is the developer's version of official God powers. You have a push power, a grab power, which gives you this beautiful white little hand, wait till you see what that does, a shoot power, which is basically shooting things like arrows and stuff like that. There's an arrow in the sky. You also have a vacuum power and an invert and gravity power. Let's start with the push power. The push power is just as it sounds. As the fight begins, you can walk up, slow down time, and hit right click to activate the push power, which pushes back all the units in range. Now, King uh, Phillips is a little bit stronger than your average squire, so he's very hard to push back. <laughs> um, Helga, you, you surely shouldn't be in there. You're about to get slammed on by King Philip. Now, one thing I realized, when you pause time and you activate your push power, nothing happens. Even when you resume time, nothing happens. So this power can only be used in real time. And you have to click it like crazy to continue to push units. Actually, all I have to do is hold the button. Oh my goodness. I'm going to hold the button. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. So the push power is kind of cool, but it's not my favorite. Hit the number two key and you switch to the grab power, which is this hand right here. And yes, it does exactly what you think it does. Right click. As you can see, the hand actually moves around the body. You can grab a head, you can grab a knee, you can grab a foot. Here, let's grab the foot. Let's start the foot. And then you can pick up units using this debug menu. In fact, we're going to use it to save poor Benny the Bard here. And you know, grab by the head. Just, just, just don't mind me. I'm just going to just gonna pick you up here, right? And up we go. <laughs> now those squires can't do anything as we uh, hold on to Benny here. You know, what? I'm going to put Benny on a rock. Can I put you on this rock right here. Will you be safe if I leave you right here, Mr. Benny? Though, I get the funny feeling that if I do this, the squires will try and follow. Are you going to go lemming style over into the water? You are too. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done? All right, Benny. Just chill in the water. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't go. Don't go to the deep end. Stay on the rock. You're fine, Benny. Hey, look at that. We did it, Benny. I was able to grab you to do it. Now you guys need to see the shoot power. This is what God powers is all about. Hit the three key. Move to shoot. And now you can see right there it says bow. And the mode is tap. If you push in the middle mouse button, I'm telling you the controls because they're not listening anywhere. Push in middle mouse button, it switches to spray, to beam, to super spray, or to super beam. And I'll show you them all. So we have regular tap, which is bow. You can actually launch arrows in frozen time, and then you'll launch them, or you can launch them in real time and fire arrows just like that. And if you scroll up on the mouse, you can actually adjust the different weapons. So you have bow, you have spears, muskets, bow balloon, bow bomb, Zeus's thunderbolts. I'm not gonna say Zeus's thunderbolts. Let's change it from tap to spray. And what happens is, it now sprays out in random directions. Just like that. But spray's not very good. How about a beam? Let's get off of Zeus's, because that's very, very loud. How about a beam of Ballistas, look at all those ballistas. Hold down the mouse button, it's all those ballistas just like God powers. Check that out. How about a beam of ballista bolts? Yes! And you may be thinking to yourself, Crow, that beam's not very fast. Oh, just wait. How about we go off of beam and we move to super spray? Remember spray? Yeah, now we're going to do super spray. I'm gonna do slow mo. I'm gonna just go right here and then do super spray as it goes out in a shotgun blast in random directions just like that check that out completely impacting that giant allow me to do it again here hold it down and it is just a randomized shotgun blast machine gun spray and then finally one more mill button bush you have super beam which gives you and allow me to just allow me to paint you a pretty ballista picture this is what you're used to seeing in the god powers mod created by fern the uh the the painting in the sky of ballista bolts as they annihilate 
enemies. This is your standard god power. Let's move on to the vacuum power. Now the vacuum power hit the four key and we move on to the vacuum power. Another one of those powers that needs to be used in real time. So unpause time, I'm gonna slow it down and then I'm gonna use the vacuum power. Check this out. I'm doing it in slow mo so you can see what's going on. I'm able to lift all these units. Let me turn off slow mo and now I'm lifting up all of these units in the vacuum and they're continuing to fight each other even in this vacuum. Now just, if you'll excuse me, oh, Nope, never mind. The blue team killed the red team while inside the vacuum. That's um, a little awkward. You know what? I always favor the red team, so I'm going to pick up the blue team. Blue team, you guys can come with me. Red team, stay away. You become pretty much your own black hole, and as the units die, you can kind of drop them, or you can just drop them off the cliff just like that. <laughs> now you have a vacuum power. Let's move on to the invert gravity power, shall we? The fifth and final official god power is someone here. Invert gravity. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody fly into the sky enjoy the majestic floating of flight <laughs> and then obviously you can always just like let it go pick it up again let it go pick it up again let it go and pick it up again if you want to like lower them slowly to the ground you can do that or if you want to lift them all the way up into the sky using this beautiful majestic god power you can now why do some of them go faster than others there are some in the skies a lot faster than the rest i have no idea but if you let them go from that height, well, they're all going to splat when they hit the ground. Some of them lived. Maybe they fell on the bodies of their friends. That's a little awkward. Now, here's a little bit of an advanced tip. I accidentally discovered this. I don't know if it's intentional. It might just be a temporary bug, but if it is intentional, well, use it and enjoy it. If you pick any one of these abilities, let's say invert gravity, and you start by inverting gravity while holding right click as you're inverting gravity. If you switch to say, shoot, Gravity continues to go. My hand is off the mouse. I am now able to shoot and gravity is continuing to go. If I hit gravity again, well, they fall. So you're able to start combining powers. For example, what if I switch to vacuum and gravity and then shoot? All of a sudden, I'm doing vacuum and gravity and I'm able to shoot into the pile of people. It is the craziest glitch. Turn off vacuum, turn off gravity. So you're able to like combine a lot of these god powers. So if I, for example, I start doing push, and then I switch to vacuum, I'm now pushing and vacuuming at the same time. Actually push, vacuum, invert gravity, shoot. I'm doing invert gravity, push, and vacuum all at once, and now I'm able to shoot, and it's just balloon arrows. <laughs> it's a weird bug. Don't know if it's a bug. It might be intentional. We'll have to wait and see. The only problem is when you switch out of that mound, the sound's still there. You have to close your game down. Moving on, we have a bunch of things to do. I'm going to keep the god panel on. I'm going to show you the next one. Big fireworks. This one's awesome. Let's turn that one on. What happens when the ice giant is shot at by giant <laughs> firework arrows? Oh, no. Look at the eyes on that ice giant. The poor guy doesn't know what's happened. Those are some big eyes on that ice giant. So now we have giant firework arrows, which I believe, if memory serves me, will affect the ones you shoot. Firework. Let me just, let me just try. Oh yes, now you, as your god, shoot giant fireworks. Oh no! <laughs> that is amazing. And yet this giant is not that. Hold on, let me um switch to super beam. Goodbye, Mr. Giant. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Look at him fly through the sky. So that is giant firework arrows. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have make units not die, and they will sit here and fight for forever. And it seems like they're dead right? they fall down, they're knocked over, but you can now make your units immortal. Now, what purpose does this serve? How is this ever going to be useful in an actual game? I have no idea, but if you want to, it's possible to make them not die. And then all of a sudden you can like invert gravity and make them fly into the sky and then shoot them with your giant firework arrows like this. Super spray. <laughs> They can fall now. Bye! And guess what? The splat, not gonna kill them. So instead, you can just super beam, shoot them all with firework arrows. <laughs> Let's turn off immortality and turn on make ranged units attack fast. Let's get our firework artists here that now shoot quickly and have giant fireworks and make them shoot a couple of ice giants. How about four ice giants? Start firing. Start firing. Rapid fire. <laughs> Oh, isn't that majestic? Isn't that amazing? Rapid fire giant archers. And none of this is a mod. This is all built into the DLC. Just adding even more insanity 
to totally accurate battle simulator. What other things can we do with this mod, with this update, with this DLC? Turn off big fireworks, turn off make ranged attack fast. How about make balloons metal? Let's put the balloon archers up here, shall we? Let's try that again, hit the Valkyrie shot at, and now they're weighted to the ground. It's like we're having bowling balls around their necks. Oh, that is strong. Oh, that is strong. Now, obviously my brain thinks about doing it to like a flying unit. But what about a big heavy unit? Can we weigh down an ice giant like this and prevent him from walking around? If we take the circle and we put an ice giant in the middle of the circle and prevent him from walking around, maybe with these balloon archers all the way around. If we hit him with enough weighted balloons, will he stop walking? Nope, he's still going. They're not heavy enough to restrict his movement. He can still walk with all the weighted balloons. I can't tell if he's not able to move or not. <laughs> Increased rate of fire. Oh my god. So these units are now firing even faster. They should be. They don't seem to be. And the weights aren't really preventing. Oh no, the ice shine's not walking very fast. Look at him. He's like kind of limping along very slowly, weighed down by all of it. You can see his legs buckling beneath the weight of all of these weighted balloons, and he's dead. That is crazy. Now, the next setting you can adjust is called Make Units Huge. So here is a hobbit against a wall for context. There's a hobbit. He's just over that brick. Let's see what happens when we quote unquote make him huge. Make units huge. Okay, resume. That hobbit is still there. Can I summon an even big? Oh, no, that hobbit looks a lot bigger. Does he? He is bigger. I wouldn't say huge, but he is bigger. He's thicker. He's rounder. What about an ice giant? How big does an ice giant get? Big ice giant versus big tree giant. Now, question is, the big's pretty cool, but what about small? What happens if... A oh, oh, the giant's having a hard time standing because they're so big. Okay, okay, this didn't work as well as I want. The ice giant and the tree giant are barely even able to walk. Now we're moving on to make units tiny. And oh boy, are they tiny. Look, these hobbits are the size of blades of grass. Even the ice giants are the size of regular people. And you can hear them going squeak, squeak. And um, those ice giants' explosive power is still exceptionally powerful. So let's add even more miniature hobbits, shall we? Send in the army of ant hobbits. The explosion radius of their attacks is the same. You can hear the squeaking of their little voices. It's almost like, it almost seems normal. It almost seems right until you get down to the grass. And then once you see the grass in comparison, you realize, oh my God, these units are tiny in comparison. So yes, you can do giant units and you can do tiny units. But now, now I wanna show you something more ridiculous than what you see. It's only fitting that I bring you here to the tribal faction so I can show you this next, this next addition to the game. It's, um, it's special. Activate this ability, go and grab your mammoth and then summon <laughs> your mammoths. Ladies and gentlemen, they have added something called a pillar of mammoths. The total of the accurate battle center. You can summon mammoths, oh God, on top of mammoths as high as you want to go. Watch, oh no, I just grabbed a mammoth. Oh, we're going down. Oh, we're going down. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> Look at this pile of mammoths. Are you kidding me? We need to watch that again, but this time from the bottom. Here we go. Mammoths falling from the skies, raining down upon each other. <laughs> and now they're going to float in the sky. And now we're going to invert gravity just like that. And then reverse gravity. And then invert gravity and make all the mammoths float into the sky beautifully majestically floating mammoths. Next up, we have another goofy add-on called All Units Spin. As soon as they get close enough to fight, they start to spin as they fight. And this will be every single unit. An ice giant, uh, anything with a gun, anything with a sword, every single, uh, cannons? Can, can cannons spin? Hold on, I need to try this for science. The raptors are now spinning. They're rotating. Oh my God, the cannons are spinning like tops. Are you kidding me? How are they ever gonna shoot anything? The horses are spinning. The ice giant is at top. The sensei is spinning. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh no. Oh no. This next setting is every unit gets wings and I summon one of every base faction, not including secret units, and they all have Valkyrie wings. Even the Valkyrie has extra wings. Let's start this fight. Here we go. Everything starts to fly. Catapults are in the air. Hawajas are in the air. The Da Vinci tank is in the air. This boat is in the air. Oh my God, this ballista, the mammoth even has wings. Everything is flying in the sky. 
The Da Vinci tank is spinning upside down shooting. <laughs> Guys, even Da Vinci has wings. Look at him go. That's amazing. Now, a lot of the units probably aren't going to be very useful. Now, Mr. Death himself, he's going to be... Oh, he's dead. Never mind. He would be quite useful. Here, the Pirate Queen is in there somewhere. Mr. Death himself. General Phantom is here firing off swords. Shot by the Da Vinci with wings. There's Kira the Pirate Queen still alive with wings. I don't think her bombs would do very useful things. Captain Kyle is still alive. Oh, Captain Kyle is down. Kira the Pirate Queen goes in, kills that. Larry is dead. Roger the Archer is over here. Roger's about to die. Oh, the bombs go down to the level. This Da Vinci tank is literally amazing with how much airtime it gets. The wings is cool. And then you couple that with the um, balloon archers making weights. Interesting combo. Now, this next power up, I have not yet witnessed myself. I wanted to save this for my first impressions live as a record with you. The last setting is this one coming up right now. We're going to witness the halfling turning into a black hole. Hold on, they're walking away. Oh, black hole is growing. Look, 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 look. It's growing bigger. Will it eventually? Oh, the squires. Are they going to be affected by the, the, the gravity of the black hole or are they out of reach of it? The squire is still walking. The black hole continues to grow and they seem to be out of reach. Now, logically, scientifically speaking, this shouldn't be an issue. Is there a size eventually where it can actually reach that far with the effects? Oh, oh, some of these rear squires are starting to get sucked in. Look, all these units are getting sucked in. They are within reach of the black holes. Oh my God, that thing's growing huge. Oh, Benny, Benny the Bard, please stay away. Benny, 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 please, please back up. Just, just back up. Just fight it. Fight it, Benny. Fight it if you can. Um, get behind this pillar. Get behind this tree. No, Benny, don't die. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. I just had a crazy idea, guys. I'm going to grab this poor hobbit. He's going to come with me into the sky. Oh, oh, no, he died. Oh, no, he died. I don't know how I killed him, but he died. And now a black hole is forming here in the sky i did not mean for that to happen i wanted to carry him further over there and then kill him with the with the bow the god power bow but accidentally killed him with the grab will this black hole affect these units in a close amount of time let's move the hand out of the way and hide over here let's give uh let's just give these guys a bit of a push hey can you guys uh just just don't don't go too far oh oh it seems like you're now affected by the gravity of a situation look at them fight they're fighting the gravity so hard they're trying to walk ahead and they're sucked into the gravity how big does this get oh i need to find a way and make it test it i have a new plan i have spawned two bards inside the cave and i lift them up with gravity they won't die when they fall over here we have a hobbit away from the ring of dudes and we're going to invert gravity get this hobbit oh no I thought it was when he died, he black holed. No, guys, it's only a matter of time. He just does it immediately. The fastest way to make this work is to grab his hobbit and go into the sky as fast as I can. Boom, we have a black hole up in the sky. How big is this black hole gonna get? That's what I wanna know. And for the time being, I'm just gonna start pushing around these guys. I don't want them to get too far. Don't go too far. Just stay, stay in this range, stay in this area. We have to do this for science. I need to know how big this black hole can get. Now over here, we have our two bards. They're having a good time, the red one and the blue one. So even if all these units die, our black hole's getting pretty big up there. Just keep these units away from the bards. Make sure the bards stay alive. Are they being affected by the black hole? The black hole's black beams are starting to touch the ground and this black hole is getting bigger and bigger, but just how big can it get? And are the squires being affected? Oh, oh, it looks like they are. You see that hunched over look? They're being affected by the black hole. How about our, 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 oh, oh my goodness. The blue bard is being, oh my God, that's huge. What? It stopped. It stopped. It has a maximum size. I did not expect that. The bards, the, the squires are still affected by the black hole, but it's gone. Let's invert gravity a bit. Get them into the sky. Oh! The black hole is still technically there. It's still technically there, but visually, it was gone. 